Shout out our boy, Alan Roman, finished third place at UDS Bogota with Pendulum, Magician, and Damien. What a god. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Shout out Alan. He was nice enough to do a deck profile on our channel for us. That's what today's video is going to be. His deck profile he used to destroy the whole competition at the UDS. So in honor of our boy Alan, it's what he would want, guys. What he would want. He would want for you guys to smash the subscribe button because there's still millions, millions that watch the Pendulum God videos. With not even subscribing. What are you doing? Smash the subscribe button. And let's go check out Alan Roman's amazing deck profile. And consider buying a beautiful Trip Gaming playmat in the description below. Sign up for the Trip Gaming membership. And let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up, guys? Here I'm from Mexico City. I got top four at UDS Bogota with Pendulums. I play Machine and Demon, the best deck in the world, my favorite deck. Uh, I'm going to explain why I, why I choose this deck. And um, if you have any other question about it, uh, just ask in the video. And um, let's go to the profile. Well, for for the magicians, I got the the Chrono, Time Geyser, Harmonizing, Celestial, Fang, Color, and Poison. Uh, magicians are like your toolbox. It uh, it brings you a lot of um, options. A lot of vanity in, in the deck. Uh, I choose these cards for, for the scale, uh, low and high scale and a good monster effect and I wanted to have more, more magicians but these are the, the really important ones for the combo. Uh, I choose this card because it's a, a scale 2 and it's a level 7 and I can panel on someone uh, the level 3s and that way it's important because the, these cards have a lot of relevance in this build because you can see in on this card it's one of the best cards in, in the extra deck uh, the celestial effect of search at the end phase uh, you can search for Garuda it's a, it's a hand trap, it's an interruption and harmonizing is the best magician uh, I, I was playing against a Solemn Mangrate and I wanted to to go for the OTK. Uh, I, I I was thinking that my opponent had Nibiru in hand, and it was true. And then I I had this card, Pendulum Common, Pendulum Call, and another card in hand. I just went for these two with Pendulum Call, uh, put Chronic Scale Effect, Special Summon Tank Geyser, Normal Harmon, then Synchro Summon the meter burst special summon from the scale and then I I activated the, the celestial effect. It was the fourth summon so I I interrupt the, the Nibiru, my opponent couldn't activate for for his effect and I I went for the OTK that, that was really really useful. Magician are are really a good good card. It's a good engine. Uh, I I played to to abductor. I cut this card to two because the deck is so tight, and I I don't like too much. There is an an scale three, but uh, it, it, this card has an amazing effect, and it's a card that you want in in your opening hand. Uh, for the Endymion, I play three Endymion, one Magister, one Servant, and two two Reflection. Uh, this is maybe the best pendulum card right now. Uh, these two are really good, but the the reflection effect is amazing. I, I, I like it too much that you can you can special summon this card and, and make a, a compulsory. It's, it's amazing. You can break pores with this card. For example, Winda. It's easy to, to take out. Uh, for the mythical beast, I. I play just these these two guys, uh, Jackal because it's Jackal is it's necessary, and the Garuda for for his his hand trap effect. I don't like too much the Cerberus because if if you don't have another extender and, and your opponent has you, you you are done. Uh, for the Spellbook engine, just one of each. I, I think this is the right the right number. Um, the best, the one of the best cards in the deck, Secret Village. It it was amazing. It it performed really well. 
uh, gives me a lot of mileage, and this, 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 this was a really good, good choice uh, for the magician and put the spell counters in the field. The mastery, this is a really good card. Unfortunately, it's a once per turn, but it's it's amazing. You wanna have it in your opening hand. Uh, one pot of desires. I I choose to play just one because in a, a forty card deck, I think it's a little a little bit risky to play more than one. And it's a card that you only want to resolve and have in hand one once once per deal. You don't want more than one. Uh, allure for the darks. I play a lot of dark monsters, and my extenders and starters. Instant fusion, reasoning under my bed. Uh With instant fusion, I normally special summon this card. It's like your cobalt grave. You want to have instant fusion in your opening hand. Uh, under my bell can special summon a monster from your hand or your your graveyard. Uh, dark spell caster monster. Uh, sometimes you have um, reflection or any other card that you you can put spell counters on it and then you activate this card, special summon Jackal or Endymion and you have a, a negation and sometimes your your opponent didn't expect it that uh, I didn't use it too much but it's a it's a good card and reasoning it's amazing I, I play monsters from 2 to level 7 and it was stopped just once the other times it always resolved so good and it was surprising for my opponents when I activated this card it's a 40 card deck um, for the extra deck or also a Pelosa and Abomination amazing cards uh, Nightmare Unicorn as Link 3 the Spellcasters for the Spellbook Engine and uh, this card I use it a lot eh, uh, Mascarina and Friendship uh, sometimes you open with Apollosa and sometimes you open with Mascarina. It's a it's an amazing an amazing card for interrupt your opponent with Unicorn or or Apollosa or Borrell or uh, Borrel Savage. Sorry, um, the Crush Ship. Uh, I took the idea from from Trip. Uh, when I open it with Instant Fusion, I always try to make shift special summon Vortex and then special summon from the Grave, the Millennium, and you have another interruption there. It works really good. Uh, the gravity controller, another good card. The fusion monsters vortex and the rest of brothers uh, for going first, for going second. They they work really well. One of the best cards in the extra deck. Uh, you can special summon any any pendulum from your scale like Endymion. Um, your opponent cannot activate monster effects at battle phase. Th this card was amazing. Uh, absolute and dealer for the side deck to drink or to ban it to you to love a golem because I don't depend too much on uh, the normal summon so I can put this card uh, when going first and going second uh, this card was amazing uh, it was an idea from from a friend Juan Maldonado thanks to him for for, for the idea uh, Vanity gave me the the match against the Cyber Dragon. I opened with Vortex, Endymion, and then Tribute summoned the Gravity Controller for for Vanity, and it was game. I really, really enjoy this card. Uh, that will learn no more. Another good one, Red Yeki, because uh, sometimes you you open with just panel monsters. And if you have a face of cards, you can't activate lightning, and the people are getting used to it, so they they special summon their best their best monsters in different position. I play against a dino. He opened it with uh, Pancreatops, Calamity. They in in different position, and then I just Rayeki smash the board and start with. Uh, Servant, Endymion, Jackal, Pass. Uh, it was game. Cosmic Cyclone, Retribute, I never use it, but it's, it's, a, it's a good card, evenly match. 
And cowboy, I only use cowboy one, once in, in the entire uh, tournament, but it's a, it's a good card. And that's it. That's it for the profile. I just want to say thanks to Drift, man. All the respect to you. I really love what you do for the Pendulum community. Uh, the passion you have for the deck, it, it's something I share with you. Thanks to all my friends for all the support. Uh, it was an amazing experience. I had a great time there at, at, at Bogota. Uh, I was so close, uh, so shit happens and I lost uh, against a dimensional barber and a really bad hand, but it doesn't matter. I, I do believe in myself. I know that uh, I'm going to get that premier event soon, sooner or later, so believe in me. I'm going to, to bring Pendulums the glory one day. And to all of the Pendulum community, uh, don't give up, the deck is amazing, it's one of the best deck of the format uh, and forever it's going to be one of the best uh, now with Cellini it's even better and just, just let's go to give some love to Pendulums and see you later, let's go!